Well, hi there, folks. It's Matt Hayson here looking at this week's property market. And how about this? Sydney just recorded the highest auction clearance rate we have seen in seven months, going all the way back to April 10, to be precise. And what makes that very interesting is the week prior, the RBA did lift the cash rate by half a percentage point to 2.35%. However, don't get too excited. The auction clearance rate still came through at 47% from 845 properties that were scheduled to go under the hammer, according to SQM Research. So overall, we're still seeing that ongoing trend of downward pressure on property prices, but in a volatile market, we are looking for shoots of positivity. Also, during the week, the CoreLogic latest data shows that Sydney property values are down by almost 8% in less than six months. On the current trend, what we are looking at is an annualized decline of around 22% coming off Sydney property values. But I also saw a very interesting article in the AFR during the week, which came from property data analyst company called Suburb Trends. Now, what they did suggest is there are a number of Sydney suburbs which are now on track to eliminate all of the price gains that were made during the course of the pandemic. Now, they noted one of those regions and areas was the Leichhardt area, which includes suburbs such as Balmain, Roselle, Lilyfield, our core markets. Now, according to Suburb Trends data, property values in this region have been falling by a staggering, wait for it, $106,188 per month, and that's been happening for the last three months. Now, another way to look at it is property values are falling by 5.45% per month. Now, if this trend continues, we will eliminate all of the gains made during the course of the pandemic in just four months. Now, I thought this data was absolutely astonishing, but then I looked at what's happening at the coalface of the market, and we've been reporting on this over the last several months as the market dynamic has shifted. Our C grade, B grade property, we have been experiencing somewhere between 10, 15, and at the worst case scenario, up to 20% price declines. But the anomaly in the market is the A-grade property, which is seeing very little price change. And if anything, we are seeing evidence of prices actually increasing. So when you boil it all down, looking at the Suburb Trends data, on average, they may actually be quite accurate. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Now, there's always things though that are bucking the trend. Last week, we mentioned the trophy home sale at 42 Dremoyne Avenue in Dremoyne, which traded within 12 months but still made the vendor there a healthy profit. And last week we saw another one at 42 Birchgrove Road in Balmain, which was sold by Sam Elvey and Danny Cobden. Now this property last traded in April last year for 3.78 million, but sold under the hammer last Saturday for 4.225, which made the vendor a 12.5% gain. So those sales fly in the face of the suburb trends data. But then again, we look across the broader market and there are certainly a number of properties which either haven't sold at auction and are experiencing fairly sharp price declines. So that wraps up a huge week in the property market. And I'll tell you what, I'm very excited. We could be looking at two consecutive weekends in a row with sunny weather. So we're deep into spring now. We're also bringing to market some of the finest homes we've listed so far this year. If you're a buyer, make sure you check those out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you all next week. See you around.